We've designed this video to give you a fast start overview for using EndNote 20 on Windows. We'll cover how to create an EndNote library, two ways to import a reference from an online database using PubMed as an example, how to create a custom group and add references to it, how to use Find Full Text to download PDFs, how to insert a reference into a Microsoft Word document, how to format a bibliography using the APA 7th output style as our example, and how to add page numbers to an in-text citation. To create an EndNote library, click the shortcut on the program window or select New from the File drop-down menu. EndNote will suggest naming your library My EndNote Library, but feel free to assign a name of your choice. We recommend storing all of your research materials in a single EndNote library. And I'm going to call this library My Research Projects. To avoid an increased risk of library corruption, be sure not to save libraries that you're actively developing within cloud syncing folders, such as those for Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Also, don't save libraries that you're actively developing onto a network drive. Click the Save button to finish creating your new library. The first method of automated reference capturing we'll discuss is via online search. You'll find an online search section within your library's Groups panel in EndNote 20. Click a shortcut for a favorite connection file, or press More to choose from a list of all installed connection files. Input your parameters and click the Search button to query the remote database. EndNote 20 will retrieve the first 25 search results, and you'll have the option to download additional references if you'd like. None of these search results are saved to your library until you choose to do so. Review the references and select the items you want to keep. Click the plus symbol when you're ready to copy these search results to your EndNote library. The references you copy will show in your library's unfiled group since they're not yet part of a custom group. To create a custom group for these references, select the group's drop down menu and choose Create Group. Input the name of your group and press Enter. Highlight the references to add to your new custom group, and then drag and drop them into the group. Another popular method of automated reference capturing is known as direct export. You can use the direct export workflow to capture references with many online databases. But let's import some references from PubMed.gov as an example. I'm using Mozilla Firefox for this tutorial because it supports direct export on both Mac OS and Windows. Perform your search of the online database in your web browser. Choose the references you want to import by selecting them. Feel free to export a range of search results by not marking any items. Choose the Send to link, then press Citation Manager. Click Create File, and complete the export by opening the temporary text file produced by the information provider with your EndNote 20 application. The exported references will appear within an imported references temporary group. Highlight, then drag and drop your new library entries to a custom group created for this project or topic. The process to initiate a direct export to EndNote may vary from site to site. Look for something that talks about saving, exporting, or importing references. To have EndNote attempt to find full text PDFs for references in your library, highlight those references then click the Find Full Text shortcut. You'll see a paperclip icon appear next to those references for which EndNote finds a PDF article to download. After a reference appears in your EndNote library, you can add it to a Microsoft Word document. In Word, position your cursor to create an in-text citation using the Cite While You Write add-in. With your cursor in place, click the Insert Citation shortcut found on the left of the EndNote 20 tab to bring up the Find and Insert My References window. Perform a search for an author name, keyword, part of a title, 
any bit of information found within an EndNote library reference. Press Find to review a list of all matching references from any open library that fit this search's scope. When you're ready, highlight the references you'd like to add to your writing project, and then press Insert. Your in-text citation will appear, along with the bibliographic entry within a formatted reference list at the bottom of the body of your text, which EndNote will continuously update. Feel free to cut and paste your reference list elsewhere if you'd like. To change your output style, click the diagonal arrow shortcut found in the bottom right corner of the EndNote 20 tab's bibliography section. From the Configure Bibliography window, select an output style from your list of favorites, or press Browse to see a complete list of all installed styles. Click the OK button whenever you're ready, and EndNote will automatically reformat your references. To add page numbers to an in-text citation, highlight the citation with your mouse, and then click the Edit and Manage Citations shortcut found on the EndNote 20 tab in Word. Add cited page information to the Pages field, then click the OK button. This overview should help you get started quickly, but EndNote 20 can do so much more. Please visit the EndNote training portal at endnote.com training to find pre-recorded videos, digitized text guides, our live training calendar of upcoming webinar classes, and more.